to Wageningen University and Research. I'm Julia, and today I'll be joined by people from the Master's Program of Communication, Health, and Life Sciences. Before we start, I'm going to ask them to give a brief introduction about themselves. Hi, my name is Carlotte Kruisen, and I'm a study advisor of the Master Program Communication, Health, and Life Sciences. And my name is Guy, I am from Brazil, and I'm doing my specialization of in communication and innovation within this master. Could you briefly explain what the program is about? Yeah, uh, in the world we're facing um, big problems and uh, big challenges nowadays in the field of water, nature, health and other life sciences. And uh, within this program we learn students to um, deal with those big challenges. And we do that in two specializations, communication and innovation. And students learn to deal with a um, uh, communication point of view and on for this um, big topics and we have um, health and society and that is more focused on the health and the illness part of those big challenges. Thanks and Guy why did you decide to choose this program and your specialization? Yeah well I chose this program because it's um, a perfect program to combine life sciences and communication um, so my interest was in food production and consumption and how communication and innovation could be there to facilitate innovations, uh, new inputs in the field. So that's why I chose this program and this specialization. That's very interesting. Now, is there any flexibility within choosing the courses? Yeah, there is a lot of flexibility. We have um, two specializations, and within the specializations, you can choose your own domain. So in the specialization communication and innovation, you can choose whatever uh, life science domain you like. So you follow either um, the water management um, direction or the um, organic agriculture or the, the health. Of all the courses you've taken so far, what has been the most interesting and why? Um, yeah, I really like this class called Innovation Management and Transdisciplinary Design because we studied like real cases uh, in society nowadays that were implemented by niche actors and how those innovations actually came to a more mainstream. So how is organic agriculture now available in all supermarkets, for instance? It's one of the things that we approached in this class. So what is it like for you to study in Wageningen? For example, how is your contact with the teachers? Um, it's actually very good. Uh, I think professors are very easy to, um, to access, so you can easily send them an email and go for a coffee to discuss about questions or interests or ideas for a thesis, so it's very, it's very easy going. Yeah, I'm sure. And, you know, outside of class, is there anything that you like to do? Um, yeah, uh, I really like to do sports. Uh, there's a big sports center in the university, so you can, well, I can just choose whatever I want to do in the day. Um, and also here in Weinigen there are so many students associations, so that's what also I do when I'm not in class. In addition to doing the thesis, students also have to do an internship. Can you tell me a little bit more about how the program helps them find an internship? Yeah, we support students to, um, um, to get uh, through this process. Um, we, in Wageningen we have a whole network of uh, relatives who uh, are able to help the students to, um, uh, to give them an internship position. And um, all the uh, teachers, they also have their own specialization within the field of the life sciences or communication or health sciences. And um, students can choose whatever they want to, um, uh, to be guided by one of the teachers. That's yeah. very interesting. Thank you. Which life science topic did you choose to focus for your thesis? I haven't started my thesis yet, but I chose to focus in sustainable agriculture and consumption. So I'm mainly doing classes from the Organic Agriculture Master because in my thesis I'd like to understand how communication and innovation can be better assessed in this food um, domain of not only production but only consumption of sustainable agricultural practices. That sounds wonderful. Now joining us is Acha from the other specialization, Health and Society. Acha, would you mind giving us a little introduction? Yes. Hello. I'm Acha and I'm from Indonesia. Now I'm doing the Health and Society specialization with it, within this master's program. So what made you decide to do the specialization over the other? 
Well, I chose this specialization because I'm basically interested in health issues and in the future I would like to be an expert in health promotion field in order to help uh, my country to solve and improve its health situations. And to do so, I need to gain more knowledge and experiences on how to analyze particular health issues and how to conduct an intervention program for health problems, for example. And those are things that are offered by this program. What was the most exciting course that you've done in this specialization and why? I think I really like the course named Settings for Health Promotions because in that course, so many experts came to our lectures and shared their experiences on how to conduct a research and intervention program at schools, for example, at workplace, and that those are really excited, exciting for me and I gained so many insights about that that I can apply for my future uh, career. What is it like to be an international student studying at Wageningen? Well, I don't think I find it very difficult because I feel people are so diverse here, diverse here so many international students, and I really experience a good uh, multicultural interactions, communications, and also teamwork, for example, in classes, and I, I found it very interesting. Nice. So when you're not in class, what are some things that you like to do? Yeah, sometimes I go cycling to the city center with my international friends and we have uh, ice cream, for example, have a chit chat. And I also joined the Indonesian Student Association. So yeah, I do that also outside of class. Did you already start your thesis or are you still looking for a topic? Well, I was about to start my thesis. I have chosen a topic which is about uh, smoking behavior of students in Indonesia. Next month I will start uh, writing my proposals and by the end of September I will go to Indonesia for the data collection. So the thesis takes place at the end of a student's career, but for a student looking to get started in Wageningen, are there any special requirements? Yeah, there are next to the general requirements for, from the university, there are some special requirements for this program and that contains 60 credits of uh, social sciences, so communication science, social um, sociology uh, and social psychology and um, uh, for the master uh, specialization communication and innovation you should also do a lot of communication within this um, for your requirements. Yeah. That makes sense. What are the fields that graduates of this program typically end up in for working? Uh, after the master program uh, students end up in, in jobs in which they can connect both the contents of the fields they have studied and uh, the communication part of it. So in the uh, career possibilities you see that uh, communication and innovation students end up in, um, in companies or in uh, government um, uh, parts in which they uh, have a communication uh, position um, and they also uh, deal with the content of the communication and the health and society part, they are focusing on the health uh, studies um, mm -hmm. within the company, but um, they can also uh, connect that with the other uh, disciplines in that, uh, in that area. If someone has more questions about studying in this program or at Wageningen in general, what should they do? Uh, they can co contact me on, the, uh, on this email address. And uh, we can also, you can also see the website uh, with a lot of more information. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. But if you still have questions, please feel free to email us at students at word.nl or schedule a Skype meeting. And if you have any questions about general admission requirements or student life or anything at all, please check out the Essentials of Studying in Wageningen. Thank you and hope to see you soon.